some people have criticised me for only doing reviews of older comics. So I thought I would do a more recent comic for this one. And the one I am reviewing this time is Doom 2019 by Stanley Lee. This is the big story that they are doing next year. And I've got exclusive preview early because I am friends with Stanley Lee. Uh, this is Mr. Doom. He is one of my favourite superheroes now because of this story. Uh, it is honestly one of the most best stories ever written. Uh, I'll, I'll just get into it. It starts off with part 24 and part 25 of a 25 part story. So that bit makes loads of sense. What happens is Mr. Doom fights evil Mr. Doom. And then at the end what happens is... Mr. Doom and he beats evil Mr. Doom and he flies off. It was that bit, that story, it, it didn't really work. But this is where the real story starts. This is where this is where comics is heading right here. What happens is Mr. Doom has decided that America is the problem because of their evil president that they voted in, President Donald Trump. And what, he's do what he does is, along the way, he makes friends with all the sort of people that Donald Trump hates. Like here, he is talking to a woman. She's probably a lesbian, so Donald Trump wants to see her deported. So she has come to Mr. Doom and is going to help out. And then he makes loads of other friends, too. Like, uh, let me find some of the others. Uh, there's another woman. She is also a lesbian, so Donald Trump hates her. Then there is this man here with green hair. He is obviously alternative and stuff, so Donald Trump hates him. Then there is this woman. She is also a lesbian, so Donald Trump wants rid of her. But it's not just people on the left that hate Donald Trump. As you can see, there is a nationalist man there with the English flag on his face. And even he wants rid of Donald Trump. So it is not just like some lefty agenda that it is actual story about how Donald Trump is not fit to be president and nobody likes him. As you can see here, there is loads of black people. They are willing to fight against Donald Trump because Donald Trump really hates black people. But it is sad. So, But it is sad because some of them do die and uh, they shouldn't have to die just because America voted for the wrong man. And this is where the comic, this is where I couldn't believe what I saw. Mr. Doom goes into the White House, he kills all the guards, and then he kills Donald Trump. Oh my God, this, this is the best comic ever. He, he, he killed Donald Trump. This, re this really happened. At this point, I was, I was hooked. I, I couldn't put it down. In fact... I tried to read it, and I was so hooked, I tried to read it in the shower, and as you can see, it got loads of water damage. I didn't know where the story was, and it's only halfway through, I didn't know where the story was going to go, but I, st I did start to get a bit worried, because what happens is, uh, sorry, it is, there's a lot of flipping around with this one, because it is very long. All right, he calls together all the po politicians in all of the world, and he goes, I'm replacing Donald Trump now, I am president of America. And he just saw, and the only one that's not happy about it right there is Vladimir Putin. So Mr. Doom shoots Vladimir Putin in the eye. And then it turns out that Vladimir Putin isn't even a human. He's, he's like an alien monster thing. And he starts spewing acid and stuff. So Mr. Doom and Putin are having a fight. And he just, and he just starts beating the shit out of Putin, and then he tears his head off, and he goes on telly, and he holds it up, and he's just like, yeah, this, this is America, like, uh, like, the, like my favourite musician of all time, Childish Gambler, so that, that bit, I like that bit, and then, uh, this is where I started to feel a bit worried about the comic, because it starts to go down a bit of a, bit of a dodgy route what happens is this man obviously a white blonde man nazi nazi he goes to this man who if you don't know about comics or comics gear or youtube this is 
the evil Evan Skyver. He is a Nazi. He used to draw comics, but now he doesn't anymore because he is a Nazi. And what he does is he doesn't like that Donald Trump and Putin have been killed and that women and gays and other people are being accepted. So this evil Nazi, and that there, that is his servant, Jeff Johns, this evil Nazi, Evan Skyver, he wants to get revenge on Mr. Doom. Uh, oh, horrible, horrible Nazi man. But it, it gets even more, more scary. Like, I, I was really worried where this comic was going to go because we start off, suddenly all the, all the, all the minority characters, all the lesbians are dying. And this is where I really gasped, right? It is Richard C. Meyer, aka Diversity in Comics, dressing up as Captain America. He is an alt-right Nazi. He is a white nationalist. He is a member of the KKK. He is not Captain America. And this is wrong. This is disgusting. Richard C. Meyer will never be the world's best superhero in all of the world ever. And dressing up him up as Captain America is a disgrace to America and to the world. And then Evan Skyver and Richard Meyer, they, they conspire together and they start killing off all the... All the minority characters all the sjw characters like they're blowing them up or they're blowing their head off and look look at evil evil nazi evan skyver he's he's like sucking on the blood and stuff disgusting and i thought i'd picked up a turkey here and that stanley lee was was going along with all the alt-right losers who hate progressive politics and stuff like that and they're they're not lesbian gets a head blown off and diversity in comics they're just even this is all right and here's how stupid richard meyer is right he reckons he's a marine but right look at that a real marine the punisher there he's hiding for his life because fake marine boy is killing off all the diversity and more, more kill the kill amadeus Cho hulk one of the best Asian characters in all the world. And then the the, the trick you're in to thinking that uh, Mr. Doom is dead. But oh, this bit, Stanley Lee, right? This is really, really clever, right? Because everyone thinks that diversity in comics is like the ringleader of all the Nazis on YouTube. But this is where Stanley Lee has, says something clever, right? Look, it is not him that's in charge. It is actually... Evan Skyver and he is beating up Richard Meyer and if you look the little pussy oh he thinks he's a really hard marine he is crying little wimp and then and then they're, they're both laughing about killing uh, black people and trans people so yeah, yeah they make you think that so at this point I was really worried I thought that the bad guys the Nazis had won but this is where the comic turns around again and Mr. Doom comes back and he gets revenge on the evil comics gate trolls because he gets a new car and then what he does is he goes to the White House where Richard C. Meyer and Evan Skyver are and where is it? Let me find the good bit where... Right here. He goes into the White House with uh, with his new car he blows up the door and he's got this special virus thingy that he leaks into the air and it makes everyone m melt and stuff but not the ringmaster the of of the alt-right nazis evan skyver as you can see there and this bit is really clever because uh mr doom says I am particularly pleased with these two subdivisions of nanotech robots included in this delivery. One, to generate a temporary display screen so we could chat. Now that is Stanley Lee being really clever. Because you see, people are like him, they're, they're spread hate via YouTube videos. So now, Mr. Doom is spread, is, he's like made a little YouTube video there to get his own back at, at the racist. So, I think that is really clever. But it gets better because he's like, and the other one to bond into your molecular structure and chew into your nervous system, leaving you in constant pain for the rest of your life. 
You will never forget me again. This is brilliant. He is going to suffer so much for all his horrible videos about Star Wars being uh, being, a being for a bunch of cooks and soy boys. Suck on this, Mr. Skyver. And then uh, Mr. Doom is like, you I choose to leave alive. It is crueler. You will doubtlessly be able to control the pain for short periods, but you will always know it is there waiting, as am I. And there is the big comic book pro right there. Comic book artist pro surrounded by all his success. Absolutely nothing. That is the alt-right troll destroyed. And this comic is... Honestly, one of the most amazing things I have ever read. It has everything I ever want in a comic. It has Donald Trump being killed. It has social justice characters, lesbians. It has trans people. It has black people. Uh, then it tricks you a bit. Makes you think that this is a book about the baddies winning, the evil Nazis, the, the Evan Skyvers and the Richard Myers of the world. But then it twists it and actually, no, they suffer a lot. Because I, uh, this comic, I, ca I can't put into words how good it is. You should all go read it because this is the future of the comic industry. None of the horrible Indiegogo Kickstarter comic gate horrible people on YouTube. This is where it's at. I rate this comic seven thumbs up.